Always buy flowers, always show up on time They always make calls, always on that FaceTime Something about when they're holding me late at night It feels good but not right We're going to be going by road. Yuba is almost here. It's going to take us to Yanoiba. Then from Yanoiba, we're going to find our way. We don't have to meet at the bar getting drinks. So, um, we just got to... Please, can you meet on that thing? So, we just got to Yanoiba now and we'll be boarding a bus going to Adagri from M. Doesn't have to be the night of fun and then we leave Oh, I wanna make it last with you Yeah, let's stop, not just touch Tell me what scares you most What's so We just got to Badagri Roundabout mm -hmm. And we're about to get, get um, a bus We're gonna figure it out But right now we want to alight from the yeah, yeah, cab yeah. And get our stuff out, okay? Yeah. And then we are heading yeah, yeah. to get a cab down across the road is it across or just right in front of us how much you don't come and collect like this by they collect transfer say hi to my channel wave your hand maybe now you will carry us wave your hand do like this do like this <laughs> yeah you said do like this <laughs> hey guys so we are on bike now and we are heading to semi but that this place is really really noisy but we're on bike right now and this is what we're looking like this is Badagri's roundabout and you see they charged us 1,500 naira. they are going to drop us at Semebota there's no any online there's no ID card for University of Lagos for graduate students so guys we just crossed one intense checkpoint the guy was legit asking me for ID card even after he saw our our um, international passport. He was asking for it was asking for student ID card, and I was like, no, my school does not even give student ID card. But they were still trying to like. I think they were just trying to extort us. Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do Take on my phone, one second right to you I'm really bored Please don't ignore Started as fun, now I randomly know You love rainy days and you still live at home It's cool to see You're real with me Oh no, we've never met And things like this never last But every time you text back I can't help but reply with hearts in my eyes God. I think I really like you but I never say it straight to your face I think I really like you but I don't wanna repeat my mistakes Alright so when you alight from the bike um, You have to take a long walk You have to put on your leg at this bend And you have to walk a very short distance Should I say short? But it was not so short It was a very long distance You have to walk to the immigration border right this old place this is where lagos state ends so you just have to walk across on that day those bike men they were just trying to confuse us <laughs> if you watch the first vlog you understand this part okay so this is um the immigration border right there you see the you see the signboard very soon border information center right okay so blah 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 so we just had to walk it was a very long distance to be honest we met with some officers that wanted to check what was in our bag but they were more fascinated about my camera so they were quite distracted i would say but we walked across until we got to the very end where we entered into one gate and that was where our crossing 
the Nigeria border began, blah blah blah. Okay, they were just checking us, checking us, checking us. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys to watch through from here, and we're good. <laughs> Good afternoon. Yes, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. I got my car on. So when we entered into the border control, we they just checked our passport at the entrance. And this place right here is the walkway that leads to the actual border. It takes about three to five minutes, if I'm not exaggerating, to get to the border. Um, this man was just trying to explain where to go and where not to go. He was also telling us not to take pictures as well as that lady right there. So this is the semi border. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? No, just say you're selfish. <laughs> All right, so when we got to this place, this is the entrance of the Nigeria border because we still had to go through so at our checkpoint. This is the entrance of the Nigeria border. There was chaos going on because there were a lot of people that was trying to go in. Some people do not have passports with them. Um, when I asked to get that, someone told me that most of them are market women, so they didn't really have access to passport and hawksha. This man right here was just asking a series of questions about our yellow card. I said we were supposed to take like two vaccines, and we took one, one for something, something, something. Sha, I shall mention the name, please. I'm not good with chemistry. He mentioned the name and said I was supposed to take it 10 days later, blah, blah, blah. I said I was not aware and the yellow card office, the vaccination office never told me to come back for any. Actually, I think I have two vaccines on my card and bar card at one. So, I don't know what he was talking about. He should have enlightened us. He said he was going to enlighten us about the whole vaccine process. And, you know, I spent like maybe like five minutes. Trust me, at this particular spot, okay. At some point, we, I already knew we were going to pay because it was making it seem as if oh, you have to go back to Lagos to get a vaccine done. If since you don't have it, a lot of talks, and I'm like, bro, can we just get to the point? Where's my guest? I think I forgot. I got the email. Mm -hmm. I must have forgotten. I know stress this period. And so, can you go back and get it now? <laughs> What's the no, I will not so he finally asked for money after plenty of talks he asked for money and said we were to pay one thousand dollars each i think that was what caused plenty of talks with the other people that we met there earlier on and he said we should pay one thousand dollars each and then we did we were even begging that both of us should pay one thousand dollars but he said no that is per person one thousand dollars each we should have paid one thousand dollars each and we left one thousand naira and we left that money that we paid in i don't know where it was for but we just pay for whatever it is to be called eh hmm. bro that one thousand naira pay me i don't even feel like <laughs> Can I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
This one in Nigeria. So you stick with another one. After first now, we are going to see the other after it's pumping the we are going to pump the uh one day. How is work going? We turn go. Alright, so we entered from this place right here and um the man stopped us. That's the person that is supposed to stamp our passport, but he left his post and was here for whatever reason. He was here and it was he just requested for our passport. We gave it to him, he was checking and then he was like, Oh, follow me. Ba 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 ba. Then he stood up and we were supposed to follow him. While following him, okay, the security man stopped us and he was asking about the content of our box because we had two boxes with us. Two boxes, the same exact type. One was big one or small. He was just asking about the content and me, I thought he wanted to ask us, ask us for money again. And in my mind, I'm like, she, she, you know, facing, okay. But the security guy was actually really funny, was jovial, but I was not having it at that point again because for some reason I was really tired and the day started off on a very bad note to begin with because of the Uber driver that brought us and we rode bike to get there. I don't know, I was sure not feeling that security guy, but anyways, we left him, he let us go without checking our boxes and there was nothing inside the box to begin with, just clothes my camera my laptop and maybe we had like a probably like two hundred thousand naira in the box then because we still had naira on us i didn't know they were going to take transfer wherever, wherever we're going to change money okay so that was major reason why for no reason did i let anybody even touch my box if anybody was going to open the box i'll be like okay just open it let's see you see the money and i'm going to tell you oh this is the money that i need wherever i was going to you get me yeah so this is the entrance where we came in from i was holding my phone in such a way that i didn't want them to know i was recording so can as you can see we have two entrance here this one where we have people on the right that is the man that was checking the vaccine card and as you can see there are a lot of people there then we came in from this other side to the left and then followed the man shah to his post to his office where he was supposed to be seated but it wasn't sitting there and that was where plenty talk plenty talks began we wanted to start passport i'm going to let you guys listen to some of the conversations and then just continue with the voice over me um what do i call myself PhD. i'm a student actually i'll just put myself as a student yeah. university of yeah. i'm doing a graduate course actually The new passport. That guy are paying one k. Yeah. One this vagin and one one k. Yeah. Documentation. New. Sir, you said you are stamping for one thousand naira because they need. Yeah, I'm not for I'm not for you are saying you want to pay for another documentation. That is where I don't understand. Okay, this is another office is where we are paying for. This place right here. Another agency. Ah, okay, please. We understand that is it. When you get there, you can ask me. Can you please put that five hundred dollars, please? Can you please? We don't want. Did you need that? We don't need your. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Just bring three thousand. 
we don't have that much cash in us. Because we have to After plenty talks with this man as well, he asked us for money and he said the money was for stamping out of Nigeria if I can remember and we paid five was it five hundred? We paid one thousand naira each. Yeah, we paid under one thousand naira each for stamping out of Nigeria basically that was what he said. And then he was asking a series of questions, where are you from? Um what are you going to do? And I was like we're a student, I'm a student of University of Lagos. And he said I did I say ah, I don't know. You need like they even give me any ID card while I was in my MSC. I paid for it, but they never issued an ID card. So I don't know why they were asking. Well, I don't know. It just said we should pay one thousand naira, and they said it was for stamping out. So whether we have ID card or not, we are supposed to pay one thousand naira. It's not like a bribe or something. We are supposed to pay one thousand naira. So we paid one thousand naira, and we were allowed. This man too was trying to be funny, but see some kind of things. Maybe that day was just. Uh, for me, I wasn't really, really feeling most of the conversations. Barakat was still very, very nice. Barakat is usually very nice on a very normal day, okay? But me, I'm usually very nice to but daddy. Um, I don't know, whatever. Yep, so um, when we finished with this man, we went to the other side, that man in blue, and we went there for documentation, for documentation, rather this man right here or that man right there this man right here <laughs> stressed the hell out of our lives bro bro <laughs> i'm going for i'm a phd student so i have i'm just taking a short personal yes I'm in Nigeria. So where are you Ben I'm going to show you our apartment itinerary. Our apartment reservation. Yes. How long are you supposed to? Sorry? How long are you supposed to? About five days. Five, six days. And if it gets boring tomorrow, we'll come back to Nigeria tomorrow. Okay. We are friends, sir. Yeah? Sir? We are friends. Yes. Ella is there and my Which means you might never have a cost of triangle. No. no. Okay. If you are going to be out of Nigeria for some days, you are not going to meet somebody and you are financially no. capable. <laughs> what did you say? She be not saying that if you know, she will call that woman. I know. My mom says she's no. He's saying that if you are going without knowing someone, that we must be financially capable. We know. We know. We know. We know. At least two people. Do you have their contact? Sorry. Yes. Do you want me to show you our apartment? I'm not talking about. No. She's saying that. Yes. 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 Did you? Yeah. I don't think people appreciate us. People appreciate giving their numbers out. You know how this thing works. No, now. Because personally, I wouldn't like if somebody just calls me and says, Oh, this person gave me drugs. How to call that person to confirm their phone? That's why I asked if, no, the thing is that, is it that we cannot go in, I want to ask, wait, wait. I'm not saying you cannot be safe. Okay, so, no. Okay, you tell me you are going to be safe, you don't know anybody. Hey, you have to go to the financial. 
Okay. Okay, how much are we talking about when it comes to financial capability? Is that my discretion? No, you should tell me. And if it is something I can provide, I'll provide it for you. It's at my discretion. So, like I don't I don't want us to be like it's been a long day already. You get so we want to be able to get through everything we need to do yeah. in good time. So that's why I'm asking you. I I personally would not leave somebody's number without his or her See, So that's why I'm asking you. If I want to get the person's number, it can't be without the person's number. It can't be without the person's I'm a security agent. You are not getting anything. I have to. Are you going to make somebody sell? Yeah, just because you get stranded. That is just why. So that's the case you get stranded. The thing is that we cannot even get stranded. I agree. We are not going to be stranded. We can speak of ourselves. How can we? So I was saying that this man right here stressed the air out of our lives and to be honest at this point I was like okay if you want us to go back I'm going to go back I do not even give two folks but her cat was being on her very best behavior this day but I was not even having it at all at some point I was like let us go this one does they talk you english and uh-huh. later on he was asking for financial capability or financial stability i'm like bro stop playing how much money do we need to spend in cotton aside from the fact that this trip was probably so impromptu like we didn't plan it properly okay so we're not even able to map out most of our activities but then there was money i mean my friends don't come and spend money for nothing <laughs> do you guess not like there was <laughs> like there was crazy amount of money but there was enough money for us to spend in kutonum that we would not have issues you get at most if i was if there was no money i could call home call my friends i'd be like bro sis it's blessed they don't tie me down for here for here you guess he was asking for financial capability or whatever the english was and i told him how much money do you need me to show you in my account right now because i think as at that time I had not gotten my apartment so i have i had i had my house rent and other stuff that i kept in my account during that time oh ready for a fact that whatever amount you needed for me to prove or anything we could have easily done that after plenty back and forth talks he also asked for money and he said it was 500 naira each for documentation 500 naira each for documentation at this point to be honest i didn't even stress i didn't bother because if this man asked for five thousand naira at that point i would have given him because i was so freaking stressed out i was so so stressed out i was so worn out i just wanted to get it done with and just get the hell out of that place so we just sorted it out and then we left right so we had our way out of the old Nigerian border. So that place, that old place is Nigeria border. It means that we had officially crossed, officially left Nigeria. Do you get me? That place meant we had officially left Nigeria. Now this place you're looking at is the Bene border. Okay. So when we got here to, they didn't even really stress us. They just said, oh, you're going to give us one five each 
for something 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 i think after a, after a while they said okay we should pay one thousand naira each and there wrote and then we just paid the money from here because oh, i don't even tire for this present i don't know if but i think th that is how you just basically cross the brother if you are going there not to which you just have to pay and to be honest i did not see it as brave one thousand five one thousand five ah. hello let's alone 500 the passport to two about all the about monto shell alone which one is to be no be 500 documents oh 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 that's very 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 Jory, <laughs> 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 Hey, so it's a little bit of a little bit a little bit of a a a I guess that is just how they operate. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you guys how we crossed the border. I still have other Kotonu videos. By the time I'm done editing the videos and it's able to fit in, depending on how long it is, I would put in the other videos. But if I'm not able to do that, then I'm just going to end it right here. From here, we just paid, I think, 1000 or 1005 each. It's on the video, but because I'm doing a voiceover, I really can't tell how much we paid. Okay, so um, after paying here, yeah, it means that we are officially inside Benin Republic. And from here, we just had a very long walk walkway again that led us to where we were going to take our cab to our apartment. Okay, so make sure you watch the other videos, my Benin Republic vlog. It was... The videos were really detailed guys i can't even lie the videos were really detailed i did a very good job vlogging all of those and that's thanks to my camera i use a very tiny camera for my travels and it was worth it okay so yeah we've come to the end of this video from there we just we just um took um a cab that drove us right into the city the main Ben republic city okay cotono to say if you made it to this point please don't forget to subscribe and like this video share if there's any question you um anything i did not mention from here something i missed or something you would like me to answer if that makes sense let me know in the comment section and i will be sure to answer that for you